So it's been a little while since my last video. I've been very busy in, in other areas of my life. Um, but I have been out a lot and there is already quite a lot of fungi action happening around where I live. Uh, it is currently early September. Um, and yeah, so I've, I've been, been enjoying a bit of quiet fungi action on my own. Um, but I just came across these and I really wanted to show you while they were in front of me. Oh, look at all those little mushroom bugs. Because um, this is a bolete, like some of the others we've covered before. But you can see it's a little bit different. It's got this amazing kind of suede velvety matte kind of texture on the top. And then underneath, it's got dots all over the stipe. So the, the stipe itself is uh, it's kind of yellowish, I guess. Sometimes it's a lot more obvious than others. You can really see it. Sometimes like this, it's, it's mostly covered by the, the dots. But the dots are important because there are some very, very similar mushrooms to this that instead of the, these tiny little dots that are so close together, they're kind of almost joined up, uh, they'll have a reticulum instead, which we discussed on the SEP video. Um, and it, it just means a reticulum is like a, a slightly raised netted pattern all over the stipe, or sometimes just at the top, um, as opposed to this kind of stippling almost of, of little spots all over instead. Um, and you can see where I've pushed it with my thumb. It's changing colour. And on top, you can't really tell because the, the context is so dark, but where it's been touched, those are also dark stains and bruises as well. Um, and what I'm going to do uh, is to, to break this open to show you one of its other main features. So this is, it's an edible mushroom. Uh, it needs to be cooked well. There's some reports of it making people unwell if it's raw or very undercooked, but, but just cooking well just means making sure it's cooked through. Um, it has red pores as well. I don't know how well you can see them. Uh, but with this paler yellowish orange ring around near the margin on the paws. Uh, and I'm going to attempt to do this with one hand so that I can show you what happens. So the flesh inside is yellow. And very, very quickly on cutting or breaking, it goes this amazing bright blue kind of mottled effect. Um, and you can see the tubes are staining too, and where I've touched it with my thumb, it goes almost black, like really dark staining on the pores. And this is, uh, it's Neobolitus now, some of your books might, might list it as Boletus. Um, but Neobolitus prestigator, I'm not sure whether I've pronounced that right, because again, new name, haven't said that before. Uh, in some books it will still be listed as, uh, Boletus luridiformis, I think, was its old name. Um, but known as Scarlatina bolete in English. Um, and it's a good edible species. It's got a lovely solid texture. I don't know if you can see that, but if I push it, it's really, really solid, really meaty. Um, and yeah, it's it's a, a tasty one, so I'm going to take this home with me. Um, and hopefully, if you encounter these, not only are they good edibles, but if you don't fancy eating something that stains bright blue, they make a really, really fun demonstration for kids and adults also. <laughs> um, yeah, enjoy your foraging. It is perfect season to start learning about fungi. It's all about to go absolutely bananas out there. And, uh, and stay tuned. I'll be making more videos as I find more interesting fungi. Um, if you're local to me, I am also doing courses again. Uh, I'm in Sussex, UK. And uh, do press like and subscribe on the video. It makes a big difference to, to helping me grow it and and reach more people. Um, I will also pop my buy me a coffee link in the description below in case you're finding the videos really useful. Do feel free to tip me there if you're so inclined. Enjoy.